welcome back to our channel. If you're new here and you don't know who we are, I'm Imi. And I'm Kira. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing our current favourites. We just thought this would be a good video idea to do as it's just been Christmas. We've been given loads of nice gifts. We're basically doing what we got for Christmas, but also like our favourite so what yeah. we've had before Christmas as well because basically everything we've got for Christmas has now become our favourite yeah so if you want to see basically what we got for Christmas then definitely carry on watching this video we've got a few items like hair stuff makeup uh, food drink literally everything that we've been loving so if you want to know what our favourite things are then this carry is the watching. video for you <laughs> Remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and turn the bell notification on to be notified for any of our videos And without further ado, let's get straight into the video Okay, so I'm gonna start with my, one of my biggest surprises of Christmas, which is It's even weird looking at the box. Yeah, <laughs> and so it's actually an item from Fendi. So my boyfriend and then Elliot, it's really weird because they both bought us the same item, but a little bit different, but they didn't know that they were gonna get the same, did they? No. So um, yeah, so my boyfriend Jack actually bought me a Fendi ring. It is so nice. He picked this one as well, and it just looks like this. How pretty. So it's sort of like a rope um, like effect, um, and then it's got the Fendi, sign in the middle yeah so it looks like that it's so pretty and it fits perfectly and i've just been loving gold jewelry at the moment we both have so i think you thought i'm gonna get her a gold ring because i really like gold jewelry i've been wearing like loads of gold rings and gold bracelets i literally love this and it's going to be something that i keep forever because it's not going to go like rusty or anything in the shower but yeah, thank you so much, Jack. I love it. Like Imi said, Elliot got me a Fendi ring as well. But I can't actually show you guys it because I left it at my nan's, which is so annoying. Mm -hmm. But um, I did put it on my story on Instagram. So I think it might be on there still. So if you want to see it, then you can go look at it. But we'll just put, yeah, there, we'll put a picture yeah. on the screen. Um, but yeah, I literally love it so much. And I can't believe he got it for me. It's more like chunkier than Imi's one. But it's got like the little Fs and then like a main F in the middle. And it's just, oh my God, I literally love it. I can't actually believe Elliot got me that. But yeah, that's literally my favorite present I'm, I got for Christmas. So thank you, Elliot, for getting me that. Yeah, but if you do really like Fendi rings, um, and <gasps> yeah, about Charlotte. Yeah, and you don't want to spend like that sort of money on one ring, our friend Charlotte actually bought us like a pack of rings and they're so pretty. How nice are these? And then that middle one there. Look how nice they are. And then our mum um, got us these ones, which are matching. They just look like that. They're really cute as well. So they're like sort of Fendi inspired. Mm. Um, so obviously we're just loving Fendi rings at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely love our rings we got for Christmas. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna talk about is this Lady Million perfume. If you know me, you know that I love Lady Million. I'm literally obsessed with the smell. I've had it um, for like, two years running now and I just love it it's just my go-to perfume and I use it so I've quickly. I've got it longer than that. Really? Yeah like about oh, maybe four years. Really? Yeah. Yeah maybe like three four years. My mum got this for me for Christmas so thank you so much mum I love it. I've actually already got one actually and I haven't even used it all but my mum knows that I use it so quickly so she bought me another one. Love this. So keeping on the topic of perfumes I've actually got three to show because I couldn't pick my favourite and I love them all. So the first one I'm going to talk about is um, La Vie A Belle, I think that's how you say it, um, by Lancome. We actually had this about two years ago and we bought it on the plane. You know when you get them like booklets? We bought um, this one on the plane to Turkey. So now this smell reminds me of Turkey and I just love it. I'm really bad at describing smells. Like, how would you describe that? It's so nice. And look how pretty the bottle is. Mm. It's got like a little bow thing on the side. I really like musky smells. So I'm guessing it's like musky, like more like vanilla-y smells. Like I don't like floral or um, sweet smells. Oh, that is quite sweet actually. So yeah, then the next one is the Valentino perfume. So I smelled this with my mum um, and I was like, oh my God, that is so nice. And then when me and Kira went shopping together, I was like, Kira, you need to smell this. And it's so nice. I feel like this one's more 
I don't know. I feel like you just need, you know when you need to go and smell perfume? Mm. This is so nice. And I feel like loads of people would like this perfume. And look how cute the bottle is. It's got like a red lid with like studs on it. And my boyfriend's mum actually bought this for me. So thank you so much. I absolutely love this. And then I got the same perfume. And it's actually so funny because Imi opened that from um, Jack's mum. And I was literally like... For God's sake! Like, I'm, I wanted that perfume! And then Elliot bought me the whole, like, set. And I can't believe it because it's just the nicest perfume. And I wanted it for Christmas. I thought, like, my mum or dad were going to get it for me. But um, Elliot got it for me. So it's just the big bottle. Yeah, That's it's, actually massive. I know, it's huge. It shows the size difference. So this is the big bottle. Oh! oh! That little one is yeah so this is the big one it comes with like a little one which i think is so handy because yeah, i take it to work bag. yeah and i take it to work and you just put it in your bag and then this body cream is the nicest thing it just smells exactly like the um perfume but Emmy was saying to me that you can put the body cream on then spray the perfume and then yeah, it'll last, last longer. longer i love it so much so thank you Elliot, for that i forgot to say that my um la vie spell came with a little mini one as well look how cute oh. that is so it's got the big one and the little one and then it came with the body lotion which i think is really nice like i love the sets with the mini perfumes yeah and then i've got one more oh yeah so i've actually got molecules um, I don't think many people would have heard about this perfume. Basically, I think only certain people can smell it on you. Oh. There's some, yeah, only certain people can smell it. Yeah, so my mum bought me this because I've wanted it for ages. And I don't know why, every year we went to France and um, I always used to smell it in France. And I always wanted to I ask people it. walking past me what they were wearing. But obviously I couldn't because I can't speak French. Um, you can't speak French You yeah. like the funky music to the dark <laughs> And then I finally found what it was Because my mum's friend wears it Yeah, so my mum bought it for me And I think it's really cool Because it comes in this like aluminium case And then the perfume's actually in the case Oh cool And then I've got a, another one up there Which like is a refill that goes in there once, once this is finished I just think that's a really nice perfume yeah i don't think this will, will be everyone's taste but i absolutely love it i feel like this is more of a day perfume i got olympia which is one of my other favorite perfumes yeah i love olympia. um yeah me and me have had this like four years now and it's just one of those smells it just smells so good like if you haven't tried any of these perfumes go into the shop and just have a little sniff because you might fall in love with them but yeah my dad got this for me and i absolutely love it so thank you dad you don't even watch our videos but i'm gonna say thank you anyway <laughs> My next favourite thing are these slippers. These have got to be my favourite thing of December. So they are actually from Sheen. I've got a haul coming soon with them. And when I first got them, I was like, oh, they're really small for me. Like, them, I didn't really fit in them. But where I've been wearing them, they've stretched. And they're the comfiest things. And they've, like, moulded to my feet. I obviously love um, chocolate brown at the moment. And they're just so comfy. And I, I'm, not, I'm normally not a slipper lover. But now I've had these, I think I'm going to have slippers for the rest of my life. Because literally, when I wake up, I'm like, where's my slippers? <laughs> and when I'm walking around, Where's my dressing gown? Where's yeah, my slippers? My feet are so cold without them. So I'm actually so glad I've got these now. They're so nice. I've got black ones coming, so I can't wait for them to arrive. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the Molly May Filter Fake Tan. I got it in dark. Do you get it in dark? Yeah, yeah. it's in my favourite Um well. This is one of our favourite fake tans. We haven't used it for ages because it sells out quite quickly. With our fake tan, we just buy like ones in super drug. Mm. But with this, I feel you like can't. this is a special one yeah. to buy. Like to ask for for like Christmas and your birthday. And it makes us go so dark. Yeah, like, this is a tan that makes you go really, really dark. If you've watched our videos um, in the first lockdown, this is what we used to wear. And everyone used to ask what, I think I was wearing it. I had it first. Everyone used to ask what tan I was wearing. I've heard from so many people that the dark actually comes out darker dark than on. the ultra dark. So that's why we went for the dark, because we like really dark tan. So if this comes out then as like an ultra dark, then this is the one we want. And I looked back at like some of our videos and I thought, how are we so dark? Like my tan looks so dark, yeah. like even my chest came out really dark and I thought how, how is it so dark? I it think this is why, be. it must be because I haven't used this since like the start of lockdown and we were really dark then so hopefully, I'm hoping that this makes my tan go really nice and not patchy. And we're gonna wear it tonight because it's New Year's Eve tomorrow. Yeah but when this video goes up, up it'll already be 2021. Oh, that's so weird saying 2021. 
I don't like it. 2021. That sounds scary. That sounds scary. Why does Everyone's that sound... Everyone's like, oh, um, I think 2021 is going to be a really good year. And I've just got a really weird feeling about next year. Don't say that. I don't know why. We need some positivity here on this <laughs> channel, not negativity. Okay, moving on to sweets and chocolate and food. We got these for Christmas and they're called candy oh, keepers. Can one? <laughs> and they're the wild strawberry vegan sweets. So they're actually vegan and they're the nicest sweets. They're in the <laughs> they're in the shape of, they're in the shape of a cat. These are Jamie Lang sweets, aren't they? Oh yeah. Mmm. Mm, they're so good. If you haven't tried these, then definitely get to the shop and oh God. try them. How are they vegan? I was going vegan for that. Keeping on the topic of food, these are my new obsession. Like you tried getting them for yeah. me, didn't you? Jack tried getting so them for me. So I wanted to get them for you and then mum was like, I've already got them for her. Yeah. And I was going to get you the milk chocolate ones, but then I thought she's not going to want white chocolate mm. and milk chocolate. But I think you probably would, wouldn't you? These are so nice. They're the Maltese truffles, but the white chocolate ones. I haven't tried ones. them yet. Have you not? No. I got a big box of them and this is the amount left I've got. About five. They're so, you know, um, white Maltesers. They used to do white Maltesers and I can't find them anywhere. Mm. How am I? It got Shut little pieces in. It's like got soft stuff inside, like a truffle. It's mm. so nice. So the thing I'm going to talk about, look how cool this is. It's a bus of gin. A gin bus. Yeah, it's a gin bus. My dad got this for me, and it's got apple and spice gin, plum that? gin, rhubarb and rose hip gin, and bramble gin. Bramble. And then raspberry, so it's got a load of selection of different flavoured gins and if you know me, you know I love gin, so I can't wait to try all these different ones because at the moment I've been trying like different gins, normally I just go into a pub and say oh can I have pink gin, but there's so many yeah. other like, nice gins like lemon gin, so I, I think, think that's why like that's that. really good because you can try all the different ones yeah. like the small bottles. And then you'll see what you like. It's in my favourite, it's the grapefruit gin, I love the Whitley Neal grapefruit gin and this Chase one is so nice and Kira actually got it for me for Christmas. So I can't wait to drink this and get fucked up tomorrow. <laughs> if you love grapefruit, I don't like grapefruit though. No, I but don't. But I like this. No, yeah. You know grapefruit squash? Yeah. I hate grapefruit squash but I love this gin with mm. lemonade. It's just so nice. It's like really sweet. I so didn't think, I swear when you said, can I have a grapefruit yeah. gin? I went, ugh. And then I tried it and I thought, oh my yeah, god, that's so, so nice. nice. <gasps> Another favourite. Oh, so yeah. you might think it's an ordinary candle because that is just a, a glittery candle. It is really pretty, a white candle. But are you ready for this? I don't think they're ready. <laughs> we need to turn this off. Look, when you light it, it starts changing colour. It's so cool. So it's got green, blue, orange, pink. I like the blue and yeah. the pink. Wait, wait for the pink. There's the pink. How pretty. It's I so never nice. knew you could get a candle like that. It's from Marks and Spencer if anyone wants to go and buy one. But I just think that was a really cool present. So yeah, that's one of my favourites of the month. Okay, so my next thing is this massive hula benefit bronzer if you've watched our videos before you know that me and Immy love a hula bronzer and this is the limited edition massive one look is it limited edition yeah oh <gasps> i didn't know that yeah it's huge so oh we need to show them the size difference because you can't really yeah. tell this is the big one and this is the mini one and then you get a normal size which is like a little bit bigger than the mini but this is huge look at the size difference oh my god so when we opened this we were like, oh my, like I've already been using it already and I feel like this one's so much more pigmented than a Is normal it? one, yeah. I haven't used mine yet. Yeah, it's so good and it's so good to um, use as bronzer on like your chest oh, and your yeah, face because yeah. it's a bigger brush and if you get a big um, bronzer brush it, it fits but with these ones, the smaller bronzer, you can't fit your whole bronzer brush what, in it. Is that the really mini one? Yeah, it's the mini yeah. one. Love that and I just love hula bronzer. So, these are my three favourite lip products at the moment. So if you've watched our gift swap, you, you would have seen that Kira actually bought me the Fenty Beauty um, Gloss Bomb in the shade Sweet Mouth. And it's what I'm wearing um, now. 
it's what I've got on and it's so nice. I haven't had a gloss like this. Um, I definitely think it's worth the money because I know they are quite expensive but it's so good. Like, it's really glossy and I feel like it's going to last ages. And then I've got my favourite MAC lipstick. But I think I've had a new favourite now. I really like your one. Oh yeah. So Immy got me the kind of sexy MAC lipstick. So basically when me and Immy, we have like a lip combo where we put, what, what lipstick was so it? So it's this one and then um, like a really bright pink, like corally colour. You would have seen it in our um, makeup videos we've done. We use both to create a pink colour, but that is the pink colour we like we're trying to create with two of these. Mine's really light, but yeah. that's, Kira's is like a pink and it's so nice. Yeah, and it looks so nice with this lip gloss as well, the um, NYX lip gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. So Amy got both of these for me um, for my Christmas present. If you haven't watched um, our Christmas swap, go and watch that. That's our previous video we've just uploaded. And then for Christmas from my mum, um, we struggle with really dry lips. And I always like bite mine, you know, when you like scrape, like try and get all the like mm. dry bits off. So my mum actually bought me this um, Elf uh, lip like exfoliator, but it's in the shape of a like lipstick. And so when you put it on, it's got like all these little beads like exfoliator bits in, um, and when you rub your lips together, it exfoliates, exfoliates them, <laughs> exfoliates. And it's in the scent coconut. So I think this is a really nice little lip product from Elf if you wanna get something for your dry lips oh, and talking about elf oh. i'm literally loving this elf concealer we used to love the lasting lasting perfection concealer yeah. but i think that's so bad now now going from lasting perfection concealer to this elf one the brush seems so small yeah and it like i feel like anything the, out. yeah i feel like the lasting perfection one's good for like nose contouring because it's really thin yeah. but this is such a like chunkier brush it's so good to like undo under your eyes it's literally the best concealer and it stays on really well like some concealers can rub off and rub your foundation yeah, off but this, and go like dry like, yeah so but this good. is the best concealer i think it's called like 16 hour camouflage um or something so it is meant to be really long lasting we get ours in medium peach yeah. okay so last beauty products um I've actually got the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation and I've got Kira onto it as well. And for the gift sort we've just done, Kira actually bought me a brand new one because mine was running out and this is actually my favourite foundation. It's such good coverage because um, I struggle with my skin. It's really good coverage for like spots, um, like dark circles or anything like that. If you want a new foundation, then definitely give this one a try. It is more on the pricey side, but it's definitely worth it. This is another one of my favourites from this year. Um, it's the L'Oreal Paris Life's a Peach Blush. And um, if you've watched some of our vlogs and stuff, me and Immy and like some of our previous videos, we always wanted to try and find a peachy blush. And this is literally the nicest peachy blush we've it's found. So nice. And you know what I've been doing recently? Pressing my brush into it loads and just putting a dab of it and just a little and then blending it out. Oh really? See if you just go in lightly, it doesn't really come out. Yeah, but I'd when, really like got yeah, that and push it's so it on. Nice. But it's quite light like when you put it on, but you've really got to go for it. But it is really you've nice. You've really, got to, you've really got to go for it. But it is really nice when um you put loads on. It's just like a really nice peachy and I feel like blush up really makes your makeup look really airbrushed. Yeah, and when I don't have blush now I hate it when yeah. I go outside with a no blusher. I used to hate blusher and used yeah. to be, I, I don't want to wear blusher. But now Oh, it's, it's so good. Yeah. So I good. really want to try the um, MAC blush. I don't know what um, shade it is, but it's like a peachy one. This is my last beauty item. So it's actually the Regen Cream. Um, I think we talked about this in our last favourite. Yeah, we've talked about it. So before. that's why you can tell it's definitely one of our favourites. Um, so we got a new tub of it for Christmas. So I think you can only get it online. But it just looks like this. We literally rave about this to everyone. And it actually um, is formulated for stretch mark scars aging skin dry skin and blemish skin so it's really good for like the scarring of um on my face like from spots and then kira's got dry skin mm. and it doesn't smell horrible no it's not it's, i like, I the, like smell. the smell some it's people not like, like it no, but i really like it's it it's not like a perfume smell or like floral or anything like that it's just like a a really fresh yeah, smell. Yeah, fresh like, smell. I don't know, it's so good. But I haven't used this for ages and I'm going to start using it again to see whether it actually helps my um, scarring. Oh, it's good for pregnancy as well. 
Really? Yeah. But for stretch marks, obviously oh, when you're yeah. stretching. We can put it on our legs. Oh, for stretch marks, yeah. yeah. We're gonna move on to clothing now. So one of my favorite pieces from this year is this Boohoo brown tracksuit. If you follow me on Instagram, um, you would have seen this on one of my pictures and I got so many comments on where this was from and can you please send me the link? And I tried to send everyone the link and it sold out so quickly. So it's just really disappointing because I sort of ruined it as well. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of um, got oil on it and it's got a little, it's we got said a bit that of marks on it. Yeah, we did say on another video, but. I feel like I can still wear this, yeah. can't I please? I think that colour's really hard to keep. Look, nice. there it is. Because so sit, look. I... Oh no, that looks oh, really shit. bad. I've got the same tracksuit, like the same colour, just a different um, jumper, mine's a crew neck jumper, and I've ruined mine as well. But I don't know what I got, I got on it. it if I've got oil wash, on mine. Mine came out the wash and it had all patches on it. Oh. So mine's ruined as well, um, but I'm still going to wear it. Yeah, but it's just this jumper with a fish around the hood and then official on the middle and then just these joggers with official on. So simple but I love the colour and the um, quality of them is so nice. I just love them and I'm really upset that I ruined them but when I come back in stock I'm definitely going to have to get another pair and they do them in grey as well so I'm going to have to get that colour as well. They, they do it in grey? They do it in grey. <gasps> so I'm going to have to get that. that if it comes back in stock. So I actually have got this unitard. I wore this on my Instagram story the other day and the amount of questions I had saying what is that you're wearing, like where did you get that from? So it's basically just this brown like legging jumpsuit um, and then it's got the zip here and it's so flattering on and it's actually from Missy Empire and I'm at... What? <laughs> I actually love it, so I've ordered it in the, I was going to get the black and the grey, but I've got a black unitard, so I've ordered it in the grey. And then they also do a wide leg one, you know, like them Zara trousers, wide leg with like a scoop neck and long sleeves. But um, the wide legs look really wide, you know, oh, and they look stupid. Yeah. So I was like, I'm not going to risk getting that, but I really like this one. Um, it's just a really nice colour because I've been loving this colour at the moment and I just love the fact that it's got a zip because you can zip it all the mm. way up and then like zip it down. So yeah, if you want something easy just to throw on like lounging in or you can even dress it up, definitely buy one of these, like any unitard really. Okay, so our last item we're going to show you for our favourites is this silk pillowcase. So you might think we're a bit weird thinking, why are they showing me a pillowcase? Oh. But our mum bought it for us for Christmas. Well, she, Kira's got one as well. And I've been looking for one of these for ages. So it's just a silk pillowcase in this really nice pink colour. And it's good for your hair to stop um, like hair breaking. And it's also good for your skin. And like if you've Did, got extensions. Have you used it yet? No. I used it last night, it's the softest thing to sleep on. But for some reason, when I woke up, it was like down the other side of the bed. <laughs> you <laughs> slipped off it, you're so silky! <laughs> I think I did, I actually slipped off it and it just slid across my bed. But it's so nice and soft. So yeah, if you need something to um, help your hair. And it's supposed to be good for extensions, because yeah. um, everyone with extensions, like your hair gets really tangled. Yeah. And if you curl your hair and you want it to last, you sleep on oh. this and it keeps it all, <gasps> your curls really cool. in. This one's from, we'll try and link um, this one um, in the description because I don't know what brand it is. But um, this is just such a good item. I know Emmy said that was the last item, but oh, I'm sorry, I just, I can't not mention him. <laughs> For sake. Got to mention Eric, like, he has been the best thing I have had this year. The best thing, the best thing since a slice of bread. Literally, look at him, sorry. How cute is he? So in Brighton, like where the arcade machines are, you know like the grabby machine? He was in one of them with like Winnie the Pooh and that and I was like, you're not going to be able to win him to Elliot. And then he was like, yeah, like I will be, I will be. He went to the other machine after like 10 attempts with this machine and then he was like, oh, I've got this one, I've got this one. And the first time he picked it up and got him. And I what? Just, what the first way? time, like, so he went to another machine. I went, you're not going to get it. And he was like, trust me, I can. The first time it picked him up and got it. And he's just so cute and I just, I just love him. <laughs> I just, I just could not mention him. I know that Elliot would be annoyed if I didn't mention him, so. You 
was really cute, but he looks really worn out. He does. He literally looks like a pad in worn out, but like really old. Like, yeah, old. And dirty. Really? Uh, he looks a bit dirty. He's aged really badly. Mate. And he's had a wash as well, and he's just looks. Has he? Yeah, he's had a wash. He... What know. happens when he gets ripped? He's not getting ripped. <gasps> oh bloody hell! But yeah, I just got to show him because he just made my 2020. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, he should have a birthday actually. Yeah, we like, went to Brighton. Oh, when was that? That was in like June. Really? Was it summer? Good, it was. August, yeah. August or something. August, yeah. it was August. But yeah, that was all of our favourites from 2020. So weird, it's going to be 2021 now. I still don't get 2021. it. 2021? No. I thought going into 2020 was really weird because it sounded weird. Yeah, because it's like 1920. It yeah. doesn't seem like this year's been long enough. No, it feels it to leave. It doesn't even feel like we've had any months like in 2020. Like it feels like it's been all m one month joint together. Yeah, because we haven't really done a lot. Yeah, so weird. But everyone's probably feeling like that as well. But at the same time, we need to think about the proud moments and like, our achievements this year. So we've achieved hitting 10k, and we've also achieved. Hitting 20k! <laughs> so yeah, this year we've hit 10k and 20k and I didn't even think we was going to hit 5k no. by the end of this year. We had 1k at the start of this year. How That's actually that? crazy. 1,000 oh and now there's 20,000 of you. Yeah, so to be fair, 2020 has been a good year for us. Yeah. As but in, in like, the YouTube side of it. I feel it. like there's always a good thing that comes out of a bad thing. Yeah. You know, it's like really bad what's happened and everything, this whole pandemic. But if we hadn't had this pandemic, we would have been working like, every day and we wouldn't have been able to film all the videos that we've filmed mm. and we wouldn't have, like, gain subscribers from the videos we've been uploading you know yeah I mean? and i feel like you always bring negative. a positive out of a negative yeah even though it's hard but i'm sure all of you have one positive thing that has come out of 2020 yeah but we just wanted to say we hope you all had the best new year's and we hope that 2021 is going to be a better year for everyone and hopefully we can set new goals and smash this year i hope this is a healthier and happier year and we're thinking about all of you guys that have had a tough year in 2020 but anyway guys we hope you enjoyed this video give it a like if you enjoyed and we'll see you in our next video bye, bye.